familiar uh, faces. Oh, speaking of Tekken, DLC, we have another Kazuya Mishima back on stream. And this is top 16 for winner's quarterfinal. And I believe we are still at best of three. Oh, yeah, no, this is winner's sport. We are still in best of three territory. Oh, and Polo oh, starting off immediately. Some uh, good pressure already. I know that Hero is doing relatively well in this match. Hero is so good at keeping characters like Kazuya away, right? The huge range, really good spells with keeping him out. But once Kazuya gets in, that's the scary thing for Hero. Polo is already doing a good job. 70% is on the board. Oh, nice. Let's go. Yeah, oh. but not getting these Kaiser conversions off already. Trying to trap at the ledge. Solo is reclaiming the stage advantage, reclaiming that space so he can finally open up that menu, bust out an option, and he's just dodging down through the laser, just trying to find a laser of his own in that kaboom. However, run up on you, try to get a good old hit on him, and get the dash back just the catching you dash. and still trapping you at this ledge here. And he is still just trying to desperately create the space with the Kazap burning that Rage Drive slowly online. Oh, Rage Drive is about to go crazy right now. Let's see if I can make it back onto this ledge. Sola keeping with I had left. Burning it once again. You gotta be careful because he's one too many times. It's going to go away. Nice use of that back air though. Sola trying to make it back 144%. Oh, gets oh. scooped from behind by that forward tilt. What a goofy He needs it. Box. He needs it. He honestly needs it. The hero sure. F tilt scoop coming in clutch as he sets up for oh a little bit of an overextension there. The uppy taking a very uh you know well worth stock from solo, but solo just trying to hang back at the hero has the oof online and trying to scrap with the Kazia. And now this is the thing about Kazia, you can actually play that kind of graphy game and not let him you know open up with this incredible burst rage and play him his game as solo is just trapping with the slashes now at the ledge just trying to catch this get up rage drive may be online right now but we know that this man does not care he definitely wants to just put his all into this as the kazap just launches still building up that damage and just building up that ooh the shield kind of there you go just trying to get it online oh but the kaboom God. finally Put in a stock and a rain down to Patea. Sola doing such a good job of keeping Patea at the range, using those spells to keep Kazuya away. Huge battle, obviously, we're gonna see trying to cover from there. Nice calling back out with the forward air. Oh, missing that back air, that's going to be huge, giving Hero that mid stage once again. Sola doing such a good job of those landing nares in the side, just trying to keep. Kazuya at range. Katai is actively struggling to find openings, any kind of options there. Nice use of the super armor on that command grab, though. And now we're on the last lock situation against Kazuya. Someone's definitely going to be scared right now. Yeah, it's a very underutilized move. We do not see too, too much from Kazuya. Only when it's time for that rage art to kind of pop. But he is dodging through the snooze, just trying to avoid this dastardly hero game as the rage drive is online. Any scoop, anything could be the end of Solo in just seconds as he is just trying to get the menu, trying to get a spell, just trying to bait. There you go, there's the run up jab, just conditioning that land. Bounce, just trying to reflect back any laser. He's hitting with the good old 1 1 2 2 as he just tries to sit up at the ledge, just trying to get this grab. And Solo, Solo is just running away with this and just playing this out so beautifully. Solo knows exactly what's coming. If he approaches that Kazuya the wrong way. Gets hit from behind with the up two. What a call out from Sola. Last off, last hit situation. Kaya goes down to that up till. You've got to be sweating right now though if you're. Sola, that up till every, was that so nice. <laughs> it was nice. so nice. And now we're getting the coaching coming in. Haven's coming in. I'm, I'm liking the Omori last. shirt as well. Shout out to Omori. Good ass game. That is but now as we see here like. Solo knows exactly what's coming, right? So the one option you really can do here is throw out a ranged option, throw out a disjoint, and that up tilt is exactly what's going to do it. That sigh of relief, it just echoes throughout the entire venue, saying like, did it, I caught Kazuya off, I beat the allegation. Yeah, and when, with characters with comeback mechanics like this, you always have to go for these high risk, kind of high reward options, because you cannot be scared. You may have that in the back of your mind, but you have to have no fear. You have to go in there. They're definitely knowing that with this option of mine, you can kind of condition them to do what you want. Just be scared, try to distance. No, you got to go in and just kind of bait this option. Just play that real, real close game. 
now oh, you're the going... switch to the violet violet oh what is what's going on are you feeling confident? i don't really right. know uh, okay maybe i'm not sure if it's confidence or it's like a like a, a pick out of fear like oh maybe i have to play against this Kazuya better i mean it was a very close first game, so I understand the pick to Violet here, but you have a lot more of those uh, big damage confirms. Once Kazuya jumps on you, you don't have to really rely on those spells a little too much. But now you're kind of forcing yourself to interact with this character a little more. I mean, on Town and City, you're kind of be you're able to like keep away and close your space out a little more. But even then, like Kazuya, without like a crazy spell and now like an insane quick burst option, like a like a spell like a kaboom. Or and like an oof into up till definitely gotta be careful here with the Violet. Yeah, you would think with the hero you would definitely wanna go this stage, but maybe the Violet has something that we have not seen quite just yet, as he just tries to go for the down smash read, but whiffing too soon. Patea taking huge advantage of this and still just trying to swing for the fences is allowing Patea to just open up with the Kazi and just get a very nice percent lead. 50% absolutely nothing to scoff at. Yeah, finding that forward air out of shield too. Solo's gotta close the stock out too, or else Kazi is going to bring the lead up more and more. Oh, Ooh! the shield break! Get him out of here! He did the Justin. The Justin. That's the MK Leo at home. That's the MK Leo at home That's that everybody knows and love. This is this is Justin at home, bro. Kind of Justin, bro. Now what a what an insane setup there. Solo puts up back in this game into back air is going to be so so pivotal against Kazi right now Lending with the up air though Kazi's advantage is coming out to absolutely shining through in this matchup Solo is catching hey and this disadvantage time and time again it catches the jump with the back air Solo puts himself back in the lead after falling down considerably well against Kazi Matea in shambles right now with that disadvantage state kind of falling victim to Solo's just phenomenal advance state, just getting trapped all around. And the thing that is nothing to scoff up with that upbeat is that it puts you in these messed up 50-50 situations like we're seeing here. Just trying to go for the no DI mix there with the side B. You can be e either eating this back air or holding this down smash. And we're seeing just the rage drive immediately online for Patea as he just gets trapped and there you oh go. Just trying to go for the read. Once again, he knows he's giving him those air dodges. It's just a matter of time before the back air puts the end to this set. And just like that, the back air ends the set like it started. Sola takes the set without the hero with the Byleth. Who oh over Patea. Honestly, that Byleth kind of nice. That Byleth was so good. The way he set up for these frame traps and these tech chases were so, so good. Like, he just didn't opt to go for, like, a jab lock. Now he's just like, I know you're going to tech in place here. Let me just pop a little down tilt. Just try to get and trap you with the up air. And, you know, Patea was fighting back so, so hard, but it was just, it was just that too much happens, to deal with. <laughs> the morale, you checked out. Your morale absolutely shatters after getting healed something like that. I mean, Patea was playing relatively well, too. It's just like not being able to deal with being zoned out as a character like Kazuya. That, that, that glaring weakness comes to show, shines through in matchups like this. That even though he was playing well, unfortunately falls to the Violet, but just lack of approach options, I guess, it was insanely good disjoint. Yeah, and you would think that um, with Kazuya, that aggression, that aggression he has with the wave dashes and the electric wing office, it is the answer. However, Byleth can play that game just as well. Like we see a lot of the good, you know, the high level, even the mid-level Byleths as well, just use that fair as like a commanding respect. Like I'm controlling the space. If you see them fairing, this is like, get away from me. I am walling out. And when they finally like mess, start these text chase situations, you're just going to be finding yourself at the ledge a lot of the time and like at like 60, 70, basically. Yeah, man. Byleth is definitely, I don't even know if I can say sleeper character. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not.